Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, so thank you so much for joining today. I thought we would do something a little differently. So um, I know that recently we have been interviewing different vendors um, and different professionals who can either provide support if you're planning a wedding, if you're planning a bar bought mitzvah, or if you run your own business and you need assistance with things like social media marketing and things like that. So I thought what we would do today is a little different because I'm gonna bring on one of my previous clients for brand photography to talk a little bit about her experience, what she learned from going through it, how it's changed her business. Um, and so I am gonna bring Talia on right now. Good morning. Morning. Can oh. you hear me? <laughs> I got to adjust a little. I'm like a little floating head here. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I feel like we've seen each other virtually a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think that seems to be the norm for everybody. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I thought we would start out with you introducing yourself and sharing a, lit a little bit about your business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my name is Talia Kostrin. I'm an integrative health and wellness coach, owner of Progressive Transformation. And I coach uh, busy professionals to take small steps towards a happier healthier, more balanced, and I like to say more balanced because there's no such thing as true life balance <laughs> <laughs> lifestyle uh, by taking small steps and show you that you can absolutely take care of yourself and still do the job that you love. And you do not have to sacrifice your health for your career. I hear that so often. It is possible to do both when you take those small steps. And a lot of what I hear um, from busy professionals is they say, I just don't have the time. So it's not a matter of having the time. It's a matter of making yourself a priority, making your health a priority, and making that time for you in your busy schedule. Um, so we work together on one or two small goals at a time. Um, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, also do grocery store tours where we uh, go through the aisles and compare different labels and show you how to navigate the store. Um, also do kitchen makeovers where go to your house. Um, I can do those virtually as well, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've taken a break from the grocery store tours for a while. Um, but go to your house, look at your pantry, your refrigerator, see what healthy swaps we can make. Um, also offer corporate wellness workshops, which is where I came to you for some help for that to advertise, mm -hmm. um, where I either can go into your office and also I have turned these virtual as well. You got to change with the times I've seen <laughs> and it's actually been working really well. Um, and as a part of that, you can include some on-site yoga classes. Very nice. Awesome. Well, thank you again for joining us and for sharing with us a little bit about your experience. So let's start with the basics. Why did you decide to do a brand photo shoot? What was it that made you decide this was something you needed to do? Yeah, sure. Um, so I was updating my website because it definitely needed some changes, updates, <laughs> new photos. Um, I was also creating some new promotional material for my corporate wellness workshops. Um, so I reached out to you because I really wanted to get pictures that were um, more uniform, um, had similar colors, inviting, um, matched my brand, and that the lighting was consistent. Um, if you have these in-action photos from events that you take, that's amazing to have those in-action shots. But sometimes, you know, they may not be the best quality and mm -hmm. they may be great to post, you know, for stories and stuff on social media. But I was looking for some pictures that I can use um, for the website, for brochures, to promote and for advertising. 
Um, and let's be honest, I honestly just wanted to make my life easier. And, <laughs> you know, sometimes you really have to reach out for help and hire someone and just figure out what makes the most sense for you to do versus for you to reach out to someone else. So mm -hmm. um, I know that uh, I trust you and you did a fantastic job and I didn't have to worry about anything and you made everything go super smoothly and easy. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I think too, um, you know, you're talking about designing your website and putting together brochures. And that's something that you could have chosen to use stock images for. Yes. But yeah. I do think there are certain fields where that's just not as impactful. I mean, you provide a one-on-one -on -one service or a one-on-one. 10 service if you're doing like the corporate wellness workshops, but yeah. it's a pretty personal service. Mm -hmm. And if you don't show you doing that work, you're missing out on the opportunity for them to understand the value of what you specifically are bringing to them versus just, you know, a handshake picture or like, right. A, Someone a, at a podium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that you bring up a really good point. And yes, I forgot about that. That's so true. Just to make that personal, because you can use stock pictures, but it's not you. It's not showing who you are. So yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You want to make it more personal. Yeah. And I think, you know, some industries that might be different if it's like a bank or or something where there's like either a lot of employees where you might not ever see the people that you have pictures with or things like that. It doesn't require that individualized personal touch in the marketing. But when you have, right. you know, a small business with only a few employees or a, you know, solo entrepreneur, it makes it that much more important, I think, that the face of the company is the person that you're seeing. In yeah, that advertising. absolutely. And also for brand recognition, too, because when you want you want people to see these pictures and know, oh, that's progressive transformation. You know, mm -hmm. I, I recognize this. I, I know, you know, the logo, the color scheme, the feel, that's, that recognition also is important. Yeah. So now that you have some pictures, I know we didn't do quite a full session. We kind of did like a more of a mini session due to constraints with models and things like that. But um, you did still get a decent batch of photos. So what have you been doing with them since? Sure. Um, so I use them um, to update my website on the different pages to promote the wellness workshops. Um, I created a new brochure for companies um, using both in print and online. Um, also using it to promote on social media, uh, different networking platforms. So I've definitely been making use of those. And it's just so much easier that I can pull from them versus figuring out you know, what am I going to put together when I have them there? It's just so much easier. So a little side conversation from that, because I've seen how you use the photos on social media and on your website. And I can tell that you sit down and you're like, oh, okay, I need to make a brochure about this. Let me pull these pictures. So how did you decide in advance what types of pictures you needed for the shoot? Mm, yes. Um, so I sat down and made a list of, you know, the kinds of workshops that I do, um, the different messages that I wanted to send to potential clients, um, to arrange different, different scenarios, because I had to think in my head, okay, what are the words that I want to use? What am what am I trying to show people and how do I get an image to also to show that message as well? So it did, it took some time to sit down and just to write things out and say, oh yeah, I need to do that too. Um, and you have to plan in advance and, and, and get organized for that because as organized as you were, I don't think you would have been able to do that as well if you don't have some kind of guidance. Um, so that was also helpful because you said to sit down and come up with a kind of outline um, for that also, and also, you know, which pictures to do first. Um, so yes, it is very important to think about, you're not just taking any random pictures. You want to figure out what are those photos that, that you need. And of course, afterwards, I thought of different ones that I should have gotten, but we can do it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Different seasons call for different types of photos. Exactly. Um, 
Yeah, and that's one thing when I'm working with people on planning, I'm helping them walk through that process. So what are the things that you're always saying to your audience? And how can we create images to support that? Because then that means those photos will always be useful to you. So, um, you know, you had something new that you were wanting to focus more on with the corporate wellness workshops, and that kind of guided some of what we did that day. Um, right. I, I also think you have the benefit of having had tried to do this yourself. Yes. For time that you yeah. already knew the things you always wanted to be saying, you just needed the professional version of those photos so that you could take that off your brain yes. mentally. Yes. Um, whereas some business owners, they either have just been using stock photos or haven't been trying to create photos themselves. Maybe they're just putting up like word only posts or using other graphics on social media or they let their web designer fill in things on their website. Um, and so they have the added work to do of like really sitting down and thinking about their messaging from the right. very beginning. Whereas yeah. I think you had a, a little step up because you knew what you wanted to say to your audience and you know, you have a wonderful photographer in your husband. <laughs> I'll see you oh, out. Oh. He appreciated you like crazy. He was like, oh, I don't have to do this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so if he can sit back and honestly, you know, and you know, you bring all your equipment and you don't have to about lugging things around. It, it just is a lifesaver. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, let me pull my, my questions back up. My, my, I don't know if you can tell, but my phone, my <laughs> tripod is, is a little sideways today. So I'm trying to hold it up. It's all good. Um, Our heads are both chopped off. I like your yeah. background, by the way. That's a beautiful collage up there. Oh, thank montage. You. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to like speak what I tell my clients right and have family photos up there so we've got me and my sister we've got our dogs we've got me and ryan right family my mom and my, my mom and sister my dad's up there we got the whole gang <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome um cool so i know that you're using things on your website and on your brochure but just in like your daily running of your business how has this changed things for you having these photos um, just as far as ease, um, for social media, it's been easier. Um, I still have a whole list of posts coming, uh, mm -hmm. using some more pictures. Um, but yeah, so for general posts, it's been easier. Um, and just putting together different, different collateral, just cause I have it. I know what folder it's in. I, I don't have to think about, oh, I need to go take some pictures right now. Um, or look through past photos from events where I, you know, again, fabulous and it's so great to get that in action but mm -hmm. just the quality is so different so you know you kind of have to pick and choose what to use when mm -hmm. so it's it's definitely made it uh, so much easier having that um, just more simple simplicity so I think one thing people struggle with once they have their photos is they're a little intimidated about using the images like let's say someone who doesn't have any design background or experience so um, I don't believe that you have any professional experience in design or anything. So could you share maybe like one example of a program that you might use that you feel is easy, um, either in creating your brochures or something? I know this is totally off the cuff, but it just occurred to me yeah. that it would be helpful to share with other people who, you know, they're focused on their work. They're not focused on marketing. Well, I have to say I did hire someone for my graphics design uh, oh, for my brochure. I did not do it myself. <laughs> so that's there what I'm go. saying. Again, like I – you know, there's as, as a health coach, there are so many things that you're doing to help your clients and different programs that you're putting together and different workshops that I really decided that I'm just going to reach out for those kinds of things that to reach out people who are professionals and, and, know what, and know what they're doing. So yes, I had to put the verbiage together. It was all my words. I had it in my head, but having someone put things together. So that's my secret. Hey, social media, social media, I do all myself though. Um, but for, for brochures, I hired. Yeah, so that's great because you know what? What's the saying? Like, you should put your energy into the 80% of things that you're good at and then the 20% of other things, just, just hand it over to someone else. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, shout out to Guru Designs, by the way. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've heard of them. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, he's great. 
Cool. But yes, no, absolutely. You have to know where to put your energy because there's only a certain amount of time in a day and you have big to-do lists. What can you do where? But yeah, for social media, I, I do my own stuff, but other things I've had help with and same with my website too. So. Cool. So I know we're going to be doing another photo shoot sometime in the future um, yes. as you know, there are other things that you need professional images for. So what are some things that you would do differently before the next one? Yeah, I should have listened to you more for a couple of things. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't um, just say that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so, you know, the, the space that you choose is super important as far as the lighting that you have, because um, you did a great job um, with your own lighting, really brightening things up. So it was really good. Um, so the space that you choose and also... Um, if you're having other people in the photos, um, making sure you keep the clothing neutral. Um, so that is, I semi-listened and I think that is really good advice just so everybody, it's just kind of neutral in general for the mm -hmm. photo. Um, so I think that's super important. Um, I'm trying to think. And maybe just, I did take time to think about the photos that I wanted, but maybe take an ex extra time just to go over one final, just to see if I really got everything that I needed. But again, afterwards, you know, in hindsight, you're mm -hmm. never going to get all the pictures that you need. Um, but I think the, the clothing that you wear and the lighting um, and, and just also noticing the details in the background of the mm -hmm. pictures, so important. Yeah, so your brand colors are kind of like blue and teal and then yeah. white and black. And so yeah. we talked about okay. you wearing those colors. Mm -hmm. which was great. You, you brought awesome outfit choices with you. Um, but we had also talked about we, when, when you use those photos, you want them to just kind of seamlessly blend together. And right. so have models. And the reason we had models for Talia's shoot is that we were simulating the corporate workshop. So we had six or seven people, you know, acting as though they were participating in the workshops. But if your colors are all white, black, teal and blue and then someone shows up in a yellow shirt or in you know red and green stripes no one's going to be paying attention to Talia in the pictures anymore right <laughs> because those bright colors are going to be standing out and yes. so that's what we had talked about and I do think most people came in neutral colors we just had yes. some details and outfits that ended up standing out afterwards that yes. um, were just distracting in the images so um and then another thing we ran into was not realizing in that location, like one of the walls was green almost. Oh like yeah. Green. <laughs> um, and that didn't quite fit in either. So, you know, you had to do a little magic, a little. <laughs> but you did a great job <laughs> of making it all, all uniform. And I think that's what you said is smart when, when you're looking for a space to maybe doing a walkthrough quickly beforehand. Uh, mm -hmm. Although, yes. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's something for myself, I always recommend to people. And then afterwards, that always tends to be like, oh, I wish we had gone to a different location. And so that's something I'm working on too, being a little more decisive about that. Like, here's what it looks like. These are the challenges we're to come up against with your final product and yes. make sure everyone's okay with that. Um, because like I said, I want these images to be useful for you. I want them to save you time and make things easier for you right um, and I don't want you know there to be any regret in that so and as neutral neutral is easy like at anything neutral even background walls I, I recommend mm -hmm. going white cream <laughs> yeah <laughs> like right? just, just anything neutral yeah unless it's not within your branding you know I work for sure I worked with another coach and their colors are like orange and yellow and red all yeah. those really bright colors and so when I did pictures of her in her office and she had a bright orange couch, that was completely yeah, for sure. on brand. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So we went with it. Um, you know, she had yeah. like beach sunset pictures on the wall that were all like that orange and yellow kind of color because of the sunset. Yeah. Totally on brand. But we yeah. want to think through those things and make sure that they're going to work in seamlessly with what your website looks like, what the rest of the images look like that you use on social media. So that is just all cohesive. Right. We want it to represent your brand, not distract from it in any way. Yes. Yes. No, I appreciate it. And thank you so much. And again, like I said, you made everything super, super easy. So thank you. Good. Well, I'm looking forward to the next time. Me too. 
I'll keep you posted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to work again. <laughs> <laughs> Life's starting to open slowly, so that's It good. is. It is. I, I was supposed to have a photo shoot this morning, but one of the kids came down with a fever, and then, you know, now you just don't know what a fever means until it gets checked out, so yeah. we had to reschedule, but um, I think I have my first wedding back tomorrow. Oh, that's so all- great. So I'm excited to to get back into it with just a couple of hours at a time because I am definitely out of shame. <laughs> good, good. From, uh, from working. So yeah, cool. Well, good. before we go, if, is there anything you wanted to share with everybody about things that you have coming up? Um, just that, like I said earlier with my wellness workshops, I have turned those virtual. Um, we make them as interactive as possible and incorporate some activities um, in addition to the presentation. Um, So if you are a company looking to help your employees, whether they're at home or in the office, I offer a few different topics um, to help you. Also, my website is progressivetransformation.com, and I could also be found on Facebook and Instagram. I have my little card here. (laughs) (laughs) But um, yeah, and and just my my advice for everyone during this time – you know, make sure you take that time for you first thing in the morning, at night, um, and just take things one day at a time, one step at a time, and, and be kind to yourself. But but make sure that you, you do take your time for you every single day. Now, now is more important than ever. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, really. And thank for you that. so much for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming on and sharing about your experience. Um, I definitely really appreciate it. And I hope it's helpful for some other people who may be thinking about moving forward with a brand session. Um, It's always nice to hear from someone who's gone through it and how it's been helpful, what they would do differently. So really appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay. I will see you hopefully soon and talk to you if not. (laughs) Sounds good. Have a great day. Bye. Bye everybody.